let's continue with our real estate uh, rentals management system. In our last session, uh, we created the dashboard. So today we shall proceed uh, with the coding part of the VBA. So we go to design view, I go to design, then I go to properties. Then here, uh, we go to form, then event. I want when the form loads, these buttons are hidden. So I just go to event, then I hit the three dots. Then from here, I need to do uh, some coding. Uh, first of all here, you can just include option explicit, explicit, explicit. Then from here, just come to this point. Uh, we want to disable, uh, disable uh, electricity, electricity. So what you need to do here is just to uh, have e1.visible uh, equals to false. Then you have e2.visible equals to false. So you can copy this too. Just to save on time. Copy this. Uh, take the cursor here. Here. Press enter paste. Press enter paste. Press enter paste. Then I will move this one. This. So this is E. This is E3. This is E4. This is E5. This is E6. This is E7. This is E8. So we paste again. This is E9. Electricity 9. This is electricity 10. Mm, 10. Then we paste again. This is electricity 11. This is electricity 11. This is electricity 12. So this is to disable electricity. Then we go to next. Uh, we have to disable disable water disable water so to disable water we have w1 dot uh, dot visible equals equals to force then w2 that is water 2 dot visible equals to force then then we have w3 dot visible water 3 dot visible equals to force then copy these three to make your work easier copy control c then paste 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 so this is should be there so this is w3 this is w4 w5 w6 w7 w8 w9 this is 10 this is, should be 11. So I have now disabled uh, water. So we go to next one. We disable the months. Uh, disable months. So for the months, we have January dot visible equals to force. Then you have Feb dot visible equals to force. Then you have March dot visible equals to force april dot visible equals to force may dot visible equals to force we have june june dot visible equals to force july dot visible equals to force visible equals to force then we have September dot visible equals to force. October dot visible equals to force. Visible equals to force. Then we have December last day dot visible equals to force. So guys, after having done that one, you will notice that um, uh, I have the code so we go back to save then hit the access button go home view you realize that the 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 stuff is working here you see the electricity water and and the months the months were here 
uh, have been disabled. So the next point is that um, when I press January, uh, the January staff becomes active. When I press February, the February staff becomes active but hides January and all other months. So guys, we right click, we go to design view here. Right click, go to design view. Then I hit on January. Now I'm coding for January of which I repeat for all the 12 months, but I will quicken the process once you understand how to code the first two months, then the other one you can also copy paste. So guys, just go to event on click, go to event procedure, hit the three dots. Now what you need to do as a bright um, programmer, just copy this. There is no much need of coding. So I, I have that one, then I just come to this point. When I'm in this point, I write a comment that uh, I'm coding, this is January, January code. So you paste it there. Remember January is the first one. So here this becomes true. All the others remains false. Then I go to water one, water one is for January. So this remains true. All other remains false. Electricity one is for January. This remains true. All the others remain false. So as simple as that, I have coded for January. So save that one. Now when I go to back to access button here and hit view, then I hit on January. See guys what will happen? The January stuff is activated, but all the others have been hidden. So we go back. There is something we have forgotten to do. We need to click. When we click on January, this rebel here, rebel 16 says January. So I go back to this one. Then here, I just type that um, rebo16.caption equals to uh, January. January. See? So when I click on this button, rebo16 says January. Let's see whether that one works. So I click on the button. Then I zoom out. Then home, view. So when I click on January, there we are, guys. You see, it says January. But when I click February, it will say February and open this ones for February, allowing me to capture data for February. For that case, you can just format this one to center and that one to center, then red in color. Or I think white should work better. White, then go back format. There we give it 16. Then save home view. So when I click on January, guys, you see it says January. So we go back and code for February. So I go to February, then I go to go on click event, event procedure, hit the three dots. So I paste that. This time around, this one is code for January. Code for February. Fe February. February. That is for, for easier follow up. So this one, two, two, E2 is for February, becomes uh, true. Water two. That is for month two, February becomes true. Any other remains false. Then February here becomes true. So we shall repeat the same process whereby all the others will be false. Like one is for January, two is for February, blah, 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 up to 12. 12 is for December. So you will make sure that at the end of the day, your code is uh, everything here has true, but if in a single occurrence, all the others remains false. So that's how we shall go about it. So we go back here and say rebo and rebo 16 dot caption equals to February. So this one says February. That says February. I save that one, hit the access button, save home view. So guys, when I click on January, you see it opens for January. And if I type something like 4500, this one I type something like 1200. This one I type something like 1000. That is for January. So when I click on February, you see for February is blank. So I can just come here and feed for February 2000. This one is 120. Electricity, I come here and save it 50. So when I go to back to January, see guys for yourself, January and February are two independent uh, that is two uh, independent months, whereby none of the the month is tampering with the other one. They are being switched by the VBA code. 
so guys if you have seen that one it will be now very easier for for you to code the other months just go to design view you go to match event uh, on click event procedure you repeat the same like now this one is called this is called for March so I just paste March is month number three so again we just do the same rebel rebel 16 dot caption caption equals to March as simple as that March so March is month number three so this one becomes true see once you code once you just uh, recycle the code true all the others remain false so month v w3 that is for march oh yeah true then we go to march march here that becomes true all the others remain false so that will be the order of the day whereby again when you save and come here click on january you see february march you see now the system will allow you to only feed the month that uh, is active for that uh, juncture. So after having done that one, now you, you see that uh, uh, this one's, uh, this is label 16, label 16, label 16, good. So we go back to this and uh, go to view. So if I open this one, there is this one that is opened. You have to cross this one. So if I go to this one, you see it's working. April, 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 October. This one had some issues. Good. Now it's working. So the next point here is to set uh, that uh, when you feed data here, the data is automatically updated here without uh, missing some of the feeds. So I delete that one. So I need to do uh, a bit of um, uh, that is a bit of uh, coding so I go to this point now I want to code on these points here we have the January January uh, that is the month so we go to one of the months here like December then go to design then go to property then we go to event on rust forecast that means uh, macro or function that runs when a control or form loses the focus so i just go to this point event procedure on rust focus i click the three dots so on rust focus we shall have that pd that is payment id number equals to id number of the tenant then the month the payment month becomes the the, t, the month of the tenant then the, the year also becomes the uh, t year so that's what we shall repeat so this one is for december so i just copy this here and just paste it down here then we change this one to november this is no november then again i paste it there this becomes october october that is for october october then again we paste this becomes for September. September. Then again, so for September, this is for August. August. Then we have uh, July. 
This will ensure that data is replicated in the child table. This is for June. If you fail to do that one, you'll notice that data will not be uh, saved or it will just be staggered. Then you have June, you have May, you have three we have January so when you are feeding data for January January and the other months this one when it, the the fun the, uh, the control resource focus the data from the parent table is equated to uh, to that one so I save that one and then I go to this point like for example if I just come here and key in data for for uh, that is for January. Again, 4500. This is 120, 520. Let's visit 100, 100. Uh, this again, 5800. Then 60. Then 520. Then I change the. This is cash, cash, cash. You see now. If now I do that, uh, then go to February. Again, feed twenty three hundred. Let's say this is we want to pay this one that way. Then this is also cash, cash, cash. Now, uh, if I cross this, okay, the, we have not yet uh, assigned the cross button. So when you go to payment table here, uh, you'll notice that uh, payment table, you'll notice that the the figures have been uh, captured apart from now this. That means still there is something we have not done. You see, it should also lubricate the, uh, should lubricate the ID. Then that means still there is something. Now that's why data is disappearing here because we have not yet assigned the correct parameters. So again, we go back to at uh, this point, go to cross, go to data entry here. So I go to uh, data entry, data entry. I need to go to uh, design view here. Then I go to these other functionalities that I created. We have this uh, ID number, T month and the rest. So we have this one. We have P month and T month. So this one, T month. You go to design view, go to property sheet, then go to on roast focus here. Also do the same for it. You paste that. I need to remove this. I need to remove this. So this one, so I copy this. That is for T month. I save. Again, I go for the, the P month. Yeah. You paste that one save again i go to the other one that i equated the other one i equated is this one the id that one so i paste then again i go to the cousin i paste the same and lastly which other one did i equate the p this one the the uh, the payment so design properties okay sorry the their payment so it is the demand the demand design property sheet okay demand okay so after doing that one now it should work uh, should work so i bring this back there then hold this take it upwards there then save. So let's try and see. So we have 1200, 5500, 5600. This is cash, cash, cash. So we have that one. 
so uh, still this one hasn't worked let's see why that one might not be the case let's see let's see let's see So we also fix the T here, the T here here, T here, T here is missing that. You see the T here is missing that. Save. Then we also go to the other one is P here. Design. Go to properties. Uh, event. We also put that one. T here and P here. Any field that you equated, you must type this. That is the equation must be. Uh, given so I cross this take this back then take it up save and run let's see so first of all we clear the payment so I go to January cash 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 then I feed it 500 this is 8500 then this is 8500 and let's say this is 230 230 450 450 500 500 that's what we have so we go to payments table here and try to see uh, the we shall only say we have succeeded when the PID is duplicated here otherwise still we haven't succeeded in that so let's check january here on roast focus and paste that one that was the remaining part february on roast focus paste that one save then we have march dot roast focus paste save then we go to April dot roast focus paste and save. We go to May May dot roast focus on lost focus paste. I think that was the, the remaining part. So we save. Then just go to this and clear data. We need to clear data here. We clear that. Uh, so we run this one. We start with January and see we want to make sure that our system is working it is giving data to the parent to the child table otherwise the system will not be functional that way so this is cash 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 that's what we have so here we go to payment and check there we are you see now it's working you see uh, for this first guy here the, the id number has been duplicated this id number has been duplicated uh, to this one so it is now functioning that the id numbers when you go to the second person the third person the id numbers should be duplicated here so the, the, the record will be saved permanently for uh, that point so we just go to home and refresh this one then also go back to our coding and make sure that everything is intact so we go to um, we go to the other months like we have June we do the same to June that is for June on lost focus we do the same July we do the same for all the months July, August, we do the same. Make sure the, equit the equated fields are done. That way. Then we have October. I'm pasting the equation. Then I just go to November. Equate. Go to December. Also equate that way so after doing that one your data will be when you you run your data 
when you run your data like now for this guy here you see for this guy it is permanent right there since the data has been captured and duplicated to the other one then the next thing is to show you how to create the receipt so for the receipt uh, you need to to create a report so I can close this one go to create then I just go to report design then you can just make this one something like up to that point save it as receipt then once you do that uh, you can create like now I can duplicate this one copy paste then I call it receipt then for the receipt here um, I need to do something so I go to the receipt I use the ID number here so I go to criteria and then type forms exclamation mark uh, data entry exclamation mark I take the field I want the field I want is ID so I scroll until I get the ID that is the function forms data entry ID it will be reading the ID then I cross I save that one I cross it then I use that receipt query to be the source uh, raw source for the report so I go to properties sorry I go to design properties this one should be in design view so I go to properties I go to um, or then I scroll upwards record source should be receipt save so that I can see all the feeds I want so I just go to design go to it add existing list so from here I can now drag and drop the feeds I want I need I need ID number there and the ID number somewhere this design this one is receipt this is my receipt 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 then format you do you do format that is my receipt so this is the ID number then I needed a customer name to be somewhere there customer name that way then group by customer name shall group them by customer name that way then from there you can now include the feeds you want right now I want this January to December so I bring them here January to December that way this is January to December like for example let's, let's work with that, with that one uh, you can modify your receipt as you want so this is my receipt save okay it may not run since i have filled that so this is how it will look like you can add water you can add electricity here like for example someone else might come and add water like now you want to add water you hold shift you bring you bring the waters here then remove this I need to remove the labels this one I need to remove those ones so I bring the waters here to sorry bring the water here then this is for uh, December so you can make sure the October November this is for November, this for October, for September, for August, July, June, May, April, March, February, like that. So later on, you you add the missing ones. Like for example, I can't see what I want. Later on, we shall add it, or you just go to receipt here. Make sure that what I want is available. Just add it then when you come here it will be in position to be water one is here so you remove this one and then bring water one for january there 
So for the electricity, you do the same. So if I run, you'll notice that um, uh, my receipt, my receipt is, my receipt is, uh, uh, will be here. So to display it, you need to go to this field here, go to design view, go to this button here, this button, then go to property sheet of it, properties, then go to event. On click, you click the three dots. Go to macro builder, go to OK, then type open report, open report. Then choose the report. The report is here, the report is receipt. There you are, then save. So after doing that one, if now I run this one, when I run this one, go to January for this guy here. When I click on him, then click receipt. There we are, you see, it should produce the receipt for Adam Kids. Adam cards only because uh, the last guy here I see this guy is Adam Adams so if I go to John Peter click on his field I see it, it will be zero zero John Peters ID number will be taken and the rest but uh, you'll notice that um, uh, data is not being duplicated but you see now here the, the, the system is working let me just try to feed more like if I go home and refresh, there is nothing, nobody with any amount. So I go cash, cash, I go cash. Then once I do that, I go to, I, I'm in January, I go to John Peter. Let me say John Peter has paid 4,500. That is the amount of electricity. Then this one is 5,400. This is 85, 850, sorry, 8050. This one is 4,500. This is 540. This is 450. So uh, here, you see, you see that um, uh, these two guys have been captured. So if I go to this point right now, I go to the first guy here. This one. If I go to this guy here, then click review receipt. You see the receipt will include now the water bill here. For January for 20 because now the receipt is working so what you need to do is to just modify your receipt uh, to be somehow decent and that one you can just take your time to do that so design go to properties go to all uh, then we need to a back style here it should be transparent so that we remove those lines not yet so back Go to border style transparent so that we remove those lines. Yeah, there we are, guys. You see, now I have removed those lines. So, in if I add electricity for this guy, design, then go to design, add existing, then bring electricity up to electricity total here, remove the labels. Remove the rebels, delete them. So if I bring the electricity somehow closer to that, then go to design property sheet, remove the back style to transparent. That way. You notice that uh, this guy January rent is this, this one, and this is the electricity. So you can still modify that one to look nice and better. Then we have uh, we have the, the the this code. This code is for a cross button. You can copy it. I paste it in the description. So this is uh, real real estate pro. So I copy this code here copy this copy then I cross this I want to have the cross button functioning so I just go to uh, this point cross button then go to event then on click event procedure click the three dots paste the code so this code uh, this code of mine is for I just copy this code again Go to this one. Uh, we undo. P 
paste it there then change this part here to real estate real estate pro like that so you can have this code from my description or you can download copy of this database from my website and take all the codes for free so when i come to this point see what happens to say real estate pro confirm we exit now i am retained there confirm receipt it goes so you can see the system is uh, uh, actually functioning well so uh, for that case in case you want to delete a, a record you just press delete from this black button here then you'll be in a position to see that so from here you can see now that button is running then we can code for this show ribbon and uh, the next the sister cousin or the cousin so i just go to show ribbon right click go to properties go to event on click what happens so i go to this point that do cmd dot show ribbon show let me just dot show turba the turba is ribbon so ribbon should not be shown that is uh, show ribbon yes so i called this should be ribbon so i just copy this part of the code and change yes to no so this is for showing ribbon so for hide ribbon just go to event procedure hit the three dots paste but change yes to no there we are so i cross fire home so show ribbon hide ribbon you see ribbon is hidden show ribbon ribbon is sh uh, shown uh, confirm uh, this one this goes on the other hand since i rocked this one here i rocked this one i need to have a form that should be used to feed the primary data of the uh, tenant so we go to design view create we go to create uh, form wizard i need to create customer id i need to create date date exit listen house number for that term and condition e team and house status category this ones i need to have all this data those ones up to that point so I then go to next Coramna next finish so it will populate for me a report uh, a form sorry now this is my form so this is my customers form this one this is the one that I'll be used to capture this is uh, tenant tenants it is capture form so in this form of mine uh, i will capture the data that should be cap uh, displayed in the dashboard so that one should be done now this is whatever i have this is my data format i need it to be bold so that it can be readable so this is my form now when i capture somebody here and capture even the documents this is the documents i need then once once i close this form it should automatically open this so here i just need first of all to i can cross this this is the data capture so i can add a button here go to design add a button sorry add a, a toggle button here that add tenants this is my toggle button add tenants it is red in color color white then this one should be 16 so add tenants then this button i need to code something about it properties go to event on click event hit the three dots then what you say here is that do cmd do cmd dot cross uh, dot cross whenever you op you click that button it crosses itself then do cmd do cmd dot open open dot open form which form should be opened data entry sorry uh, yeah. let me just confirm the name of the form the form is data let me just take this copy you know to remember the spelling 
this. So the system will automatically close itself and open that code, that one. So I close that. So I save that. So you see, you see what's happening? It crosses itself and opens this. So the same should happen here. When I cross this one, it should cross itself and open the dashboard. So I just put the button here, cross, cross form, you see, cross form. So this button, when I click on it, it will cross itself, it will cross itself and uh, for that juncture, open the, the dashboard. So we go to coding on click, what happens, so do cmd.cross, it crosses itself, do cmd dot dot open form which form it should open data entry data entry form see that's how that one is switched so when i cross you see when i actually click this one they keep on switching you see they keep on switching that is a very uh, intelligent way of coding so i go to add tenants i click I need to put uh, buttons for add new here. So design, you can draw the button. Then I go to uh, record operations, add new. Uh, then we have add record, next, finish. So we have this button for add new. We can change it to that way. So uh, when, I, when I save and run, add new, there is a bit of functionality not working. So whenever I add somebody from uh, this part here, whenever I add somebody from uh, this part, this part here, this part, whenever I add somebody from, I don't save, whenever I add somebody from this part here, it should be in a position to let me just cross this one first of all. Cross. Yes, let's see. Uh, I cross this one. Then we'll reopen it again. Let's see what happens. So I go to data entry. Still not active. So let me just open access. 2021, we see whether it will work. So we open that one. We go to data entry. So probably <coughs> uh, my access is not really functioning on that. But uh, what happens when you click on add new button here and add somebody here, when you add somebody here, you'll be in a position to, uh, to get him or her added here. So in case you want to create something like the, now the statement, you just populate the, you just populate a report from that is from uh, the wizard. Like now I can just go to report wizard. You can just come to this and populate whatever you want. Like now I need to have the payments. So you can just come to this point, have the ID. Uh, first of all, you can have the serial number, then the ID. Then now you can have January, February, March, April, this or month, like that. Then next 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 then here tabular next then finish you can have you see now you'll have to populate something that but now this time around you can just make it around the skip to make sure you see or later on you can just go to design view and opt to to bring this one to reduce the size right now you can remove this see now these sizes are so big so you just need to do something like i'm just doing just reduce the size. You see, just reduce the size of uh, this stuff so that you can have a good looking statement. You see, now you'll have a good looking statement for that case. Then bring the others. All the way to December. Just prove them towards this end. 
to then from there probably you'll be in a position to view you see now it's working so you can be in a position to come up with a very good a very nice uh, very nice uh, statement just from here like that so you just need to bring these ones closer to each other to make sure that you save on space and it, it fits on an A4 uh, paper otherwise you will need, you will need other, other other forms of uh, papers that is other sizes of the papers to print you see now what I'm doing so from here I can be in a position to view and have my report in an A4 page so guys uh, thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe you can also copy uh, or download uh, this system but basically I will provide this one this one this one was just to show you how that one is done so probably I will avail this one I will avail uh, this one for you this is what I will avail for you this one I will avail this one for you so that you can copy the you can just export the splash form and the login screen for that case so like now this one here you just need to this is the the version that is uh, actually more than whatever I have done this one so this one is whatever I was telling you that um, you can just copy this there is nothing hidden so you just need to uh, have this system from my website and then you can have the codes you can also use it for practice the only difference with whatever I have taken you through is that uh, that one was uh, really coaching but this one is a complete system that I took a lot of time to to really work on it so guys thank you very much for watching again and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much